Sometimes I have these ideas of like making a full vlog of a full day of me waking up and my morning routine. Since I became a mom, that's just like not feasible. So sometimes I have to film just part of my day and that will be my vlog. And I'm just gonna introduce our video here because I'm gonna tell you um, about my fabulous day that I had at my friend Gabe's house on Saturday. Um, today's Monday, so a couple days ago. I went to my friend's house and I've told you about her before. I've talked about her many times, but now you finally get to meet her. <laughs> Guys, let me just interject here for a second and tell you, warn you actually, that after you get to the vloggy vloggy part of the video where we go to Gabe's house, if you love pretty things, you will inevitably be completely blown away and inspired. Gabe, Gabrielle, and her daughter Isabel, both simply ravishing creatures of all things botany and plants and vintage and bangs, run a landscaping gardening business called Be Wise Gardens here in Idaho, and lucky for you, they do online consultations, so yeah, consider yourself pretty dang lucky you clicked on this video. Go to bewisegardens.com slash shop for information on how you can work with these visionaries. Okay, back to my face. This is the woman that I met on Zillow. <laughs> I like to say like, we met online, we met on Zillow. You're like, how do you meet someone on Zillow? When we were looking for a home, her house was listed in Boise and um, I saw it and like, it was just the most beautiful house. It's the kind of house where you're, you're looking at it, you're like, someone very special lived here. Like someone very special is selling this house. An artist, clearly an artist, someone who cares so much about what their home looks and feels like. If you guys watched my house styling video, thank you so much for all your comments. I am really excited to make more videos. It's like my obsession right now is making my home really feel like a home. And um, Gabe is like a true inspiration to me. And you will see why, because <laughs> we're gonna go to her house in this vlog. Before we go to Gabe's house in this vlog, I want to talk a little bit about like morning routines as a mom because um, I've seen videos of people do like morning routines as a mom. I'm like, what? I, I don't have one of those. <laughs> Not really. Like I don't really have a morning routine. Before I had a baby or really before I got pregnant cause I just like needed more sleep while I was pregnant with Woody. Um, I was in a great routine of getting up at like six before everyone else in the house. And I got to do yoga every day and it was amazing. And I did that for maybe six months or something. Um, but then I got pregnant and then I was like, I need to sleep. <laughs> and yeah, when I have a baby, I'm, we co-sleep and he gets milk all night. He gets to wake me up as much as he wants because he's just a little baby. I don't have a routine in the morning. I'm like rolling out of bed, maybe wash my face if I have time, brush my, brushing my teeth at like 11 a.m. <laughs> you know, it's just not, I don't know. I'm just a hot mess for when I, I'm just a hot mess and I have a baby and I hope that I'm not the only one because <laughs> sometimes I'm like, what is wrong with me? And my morning routine, which really just consists of emptying the dishwasher, feeding my toddler, feeding myself. I'm hungry right away in the morning. Um, just taking care of the children <laughs> in the morning and then playing. I really, I'm trying, is like a new thing I'm trying is really prioritizing playing, snuggles, like whatever we're in the mood for, some sort of a connection with mostly Cosmo, my toddler, um, first. And I find it really sets us off on a great foot for the rest of the day if we connect first. So that's part of my routine, I guess. But my morning routine really starts the night before. And I don't know if you've heard this kind of concept, but your routine really starts before you go to bed. You know, how are you winding down? How are you going to bed? How are, are you getting enough sleep? Are you going to bed on time? <laughs> because waking up refreshed and able to conquer your day, especially as a mother, even if, if you're not a mom and you have plenty of stuff on your plate too, like you have, have to stay focused and um, have to have the energy to conquer your day. And if you're a mom, you just like 
you really need to be your best self because you gotta dig deep for that patient sometimes. So right now, after the kids go to bed, they've been going to bed at like 7.30ish, um, which is a good time for us. I need at least two hours without them. <laughs> Does anyone else feel the same way? Like, I need two hours. What? Bless you! I need two hours just to be me for a second, like without my children. And I think that if you feel the same way, just like don't feel guilty about that, that you need time without your children. And there, but the issue is there's so many things I want to do in the two hours. Our babysitter recently moved, so I have, I have kind of have to do my work at night <laughs> instead of when she's watching Cosmo for a couple hours. So I have a little bit of work to do at night. And that's just, I don't love it because I'm, I don't like, you know, being in front of the blue light right before bed, but I have to do it. And so like editing a video or sending emails or organizing content or posting on Instagram, stuff like that. I also joined a book club with Gabe. Gabe started a garden book club and our first book is Signature of All Things. It's our only fiction book that we're reading. The rest is like gardening books. And anyway, now I have to read, <laughs> which I love. Like reading really helps me unwind. It's a big priority for me to connect with Eric, um, you know, talking and otherwise after the kids go to bed and that takes time and then I also really like unwinding with the show like a lot like it just really helps me fall to sleep I feel like my brain is like all day and then once the kids go to sleep it goes and I can finally focus and think is anyone else the same way I just get so overstimulated by like constantly being pulled in all directions, especially because Cosmo doesn't nap anymore. But I want to share something new that I've been doing for my nighttime routine to help me really unwind and get the best night of sleep possible despite being woken up multiple times a night from a baby. And that is the brand called Beam. Have you ever heard of Beam? I'm really excited about it. It's a sleepy hot cocoa and it's amazing. Essentially like it's taking all of the good sleepy sleepiness and putting it into one drink. This delicious yummy hot cocoa that you drink you know, 30 minutes before you go to bed and it just really helps you unwind. It helps you fall asleep and stay asleep. Again, I'm not staying asleep because I'm being woken up from a baby, but it helps you fall asleep and helps your sleep be more efficient and restorative. I have the, the flavors without CBD in them. It has epigenin, reishi, magnesium, L-theanine, and melatonin. Dream Powder is a delicious hot cocoa flavored blend formulated to improve your sleep. There are five natural ingredients specially chosen to help your body through the stages of sleep and wake up with no grogginess. It's pretty amazing. I am totally hooked on it. I think this product is so cool, you guys. I think there's so many people who struggle with sleep and this can be such a wonderful thing just to try and see if it helps. It's like this delicious treat at the end of the day and it just, I don't know, it really sets you up for a nice night. There's absolutely no gluten, no added sugar, no GMOs, no dairy, no artificial flavors. It's vegetarian, vegan, and keto friendly. You just mix one to two scoops into six to eight ounces of hot water and drink before bedtime. It's super delicious and the people who have tried it, my friends, also agree it's pretty awesome. I'm just such a high energy person that at the end of the day, sometimes it's really hard for me to unwind and Beam has made all the difference, especially since having the new baby and just feeling a little overwhelmed with life and everything. So I'm so grateful for this product and kind of telling everyone about it. So if you subscribe, you get 20% off the original price. And if you use my link and the code McNeely, you get an additional 15% off plus a free frother. So that's 35% off, up to 35% off the original price. If you use the link, the code McNeely, or you can scan the QR code that is on the screen and let me know how you guys like it. I've really been loving this product. I'm obviously not gonna drink this right now. <laughs> this is just for show. You guys know that I used to struggle with uh, insomnia. I used to do insomnia quite consistently, and <laughs> I have a lot to say about sleep. Like if someone's really struggling with sleep, there's so much that um, we can work on internally and in our emotional life. And Beam can be such a great resource as well in addition to the work that you're doing. Okay, now we're gonna go to Gabe's house. I hope you enjoy meeting her. Her house is so inspiring. <laughs> Get ready to just be blown away by her artistry and her beauty. I'm doing now though. 
right? Well, no, but you run your kids. business. I know, but I don't have little kids. But I look I at your know. house, your garden, everything you set up, and I'm like, I could, couldn't possibly live up to this. Like, like oh, oh you should have burned it. Just break it off you. Got some color. He's like salty. Oh, I love it so much. There's one more like right here. I'm gonna cut it and I'll have to get it from the house. Wow. <laughs> it's like a smile. I know. Or a mustache. Yes. Handle <laughs> our mustache. And then I wanna pick, I don't know that they're gonna be ripe, but I wanna pick one of these melons just so we can try it. Oh, okay. Look well, at them. Aren't they beautiful? Wait, oh, I thought those were squashes. Are they, it's an Italian cream. Like cantaloupe, I guess. Uh huh. Oh, look, the tendril is oh, dry. It's let's do it. Melons. Have you had a lot of success with melons? No. <laughs> this is the first year. I mean, I've grown um, like the little baby watermelons. I've been yes. okay with, but that is not fitting in there. All right, and then the other thing I want to get is some peppers. Okay, these are paprika, so they're a little bit spicy, but then they're just like a little red pepper. Mr. Ship? Yep. So let's throw these on top. Because our meal has to be beautiful. It has to be beautiful. If you're going to eat it, it should inspire you. Have you always been someone who craves beauty? Absolutely. Like, yeah. things have to be beautiful? Yeah, I think, I mean, both my parents were, like, artists, mm -hmm. artist types. And so, it was always like that. Like, it was always... That I'm not pretty. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. No, or like I was like the somebody told you that? Or you no, like, I was like the, I'm the smart, funny one, not oh. the pretty one. I'm the one who's like you can quirky and funny. Both. I know. <laughs> you can be both. As Jennifer Lawrence has explained. Like, <laughs> I, I look at Jennifer Lawrence, I'm like, she's sexy and she's funny. How does she do it? Uh, <laughs> and she's like ridiculously like talented and yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay, we got some chives. Yeah, so I have that. Those are sun golds. Um, mine are half that size. It's like yeah, I'm not I'm absolutely. uninspired. Absolutely. Yeah. Because even your yard isn't like pretty yet, right? It's it's epic and yeah. beautiful uh -huh. and like stately. Yeah. But it's not like There's cute no yet. moments. Right? There's no moments. Right. Okay, these tomatoes are my new favorite tomato. What are they? It's called Indigo Blue Chocolate. Oh my gosh. Isn't that something? And they taste so good. I need to, I need to get my Here. berry bushes. How fun. See, I want kale like this. Yeah. I did get to have most of my greens from the garden. Most of my yeah. green smoothies were from my garden this year. They're just kind of small. I actually had um, some collard green starts that did pretty good. No, yeah. these are Brussels sprouts. So I'm hoping I have those for Thanksgiving. He's like, Mom, why haven't you fed me? I'm like, <laughs> I like, I've tried. <laughs> you have ignored me. <laughs> well, it's so beautiful. I actually really love this weather, though. Oh my gosh, it's really perfect, perfect. gardening weather. It's perfect. It really is perfect. What are these? What variety of um, cucumbers is this? It's called a lime crisp. Is it good? It's my favorite. Now. What? Can I try it? Is this it? Yeah. No, nope, that is the squash we're going to bring up. Oh, yeah, okay. here. You can let me grab this one. Let me try this one. It's like one. Mmm. Mmm, it almost tastes like it's lemony and salty. Oh, it's so good. This, what is it? I don't know. Chocolate? Indigo queen. Indigo blue chocolate. Mmm. Isn't it good? It's mm. totally different than that, which is like super sweet. Oh, yeah. But isn't it so good? It's like Irene. Mm -hmm. It's so good. It's really good. So it's definitely one that I will roll down. Like snack tomatoes, they're really sweeter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What I like about them is there's less time for something to go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can we just grate it? Yep. So just, yep. Just grate it up.
just like things like that. But like, I don't know. I really love like the domestic arts. Like yeah. I always loved it. I loved home ec yeah. in school. I loved like making things. I love making my room cozy. Yeah. I love, my mom always had a super cozy house. And and so this this arena is my arena. Like and I love it. And it's so cool. Homesteading and domestic Oh my gosh, arts. yeah. A thing it's now. It's a thing, I know. It's and what it's like, everyone wants to learn. Yep, it's totally. And um, which is so wonderful because it's so simple. It's like the, it's like a simple beauty, you know. It is a huge like social butterfly kind of person. Yes. Oh my gosh, this onion is so strong. Oh. <laughs> Does that mean that it's gonna be great? Though? It's gonna be super tasty. Baby's over there trying to crawl. It's a little early. It's a little early, but. It Maybe might you'll. Take, it might take him a few months to get it. Maybe. You know, I, I just I, hope I, it I makes him less early, angsty. I had early crawlers. What's happening? <laughs> All right, so what's in here? Have you can better? Yes. yes. Um, it, it's the melt. Oh, cool. I like it. But this is the secret to it. Even if you don't love like oil or fat uh -huh. and stuff, it's what gives it like all the umami uh, because it's all kind of just clean vegetables otherwise. Yeah. So, yes. Gabe, I started cooking with oil. <laughs> I'm like, I, it started in pregnancy because I'm like, I need to make my food taste better. Okay, hey, what was your favorite stage of motherhood? Oh, geez, it was each kid is different. Yeah. So like first kid, once we got nursing down, I was like totally into that. I love just sitting mm. and nursing yeah. and just looking at his perfect little <laughs> face and body and all that because then I'd relax a little bit. I wasn't such so hyper vigilant as a person and a mother. I mean, I'd say that my favorite, favorite, favorite is where you're at with Cosmo. So like nine oh. months to like four. So fun. Was just glorious because they want to know everything. You're just like a god to them in the way that they just worship you. They think you're the most beautiful. I love it when you're holding them and they're like touching your oh. hair and your face and look, yeah. like looking into your soul. Yeah. Right? We homeschooled, so we had a little bit different experience, I think. I love the teen years. Yeah. I cannot wait for teens. They were awesome. Like, yeah, I didn't have crazy teens. No. I, I mean, I never had crazy kids at all. This was like my kids' favorite thing that we invented when they were little kids to get like a ton of vegetables oh. in one dish that was also super like fun to eat. Yeah, and so all of it, pretty much all of it we grow in the garden except obviously the tofu and stuff. But mm -hmm. and so it was called confetti. I think we called it confetti quesadillas, and then you smash it between two flour tortillas and then fry it. Adding vegan butter to my food food? Is that what I have to do? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Only some. But I like the I usually do. I do mostly do olive oil. It's just this particular one, for some mm. reason, it brings the flavor out. It makes the squash taste like something mm -hmm. to me. And then I think that corn is always better with something buttery. I really love um, cooking with other vegans to see how they cook, because I get really stuck in the rut. Oh, so we air fried some tofu. I air fried some tofu, so that'll go on. And then we'll just make it pretty with the other things. Wow, okay, so it's like a little hash. You know, like, mm -hmm. you know the difference when you, when you, when you massage it? Yeah. It's, 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 like, it's, it's like green. Mode, it's like pure Mode green. kale. <laughs> yeah, or like chlorophyll, right? Yes. Are you kidding me? How did you bake these? You slice them in half? Slice them in half. Well, I put some oil on the pan. Okay. And salt and pepper. Okay. And then I rub, then I slice them and I rub it in the salt and pepper. Okay, but how much do you love that strawberry wallpaper? Oh, Isn't it so, so cute? Because so Eric cute. really wanted to wallpaper and I'm like, okay, but I don't like anything you're showing me. It's so beautiful. It is. It is. It's Our so food should be beautiful. Cool. You could get baskets that you hang on a wall. Which one? Yeah, like that. You know, like um, that. Maybe that's what you put on the the brick wall. That. Oh, the brick wall. Um, maybe. How do I hang them? The command strip. Okay. It's just acquiring those special things. That you just like. Yeah. And that takes time. <laughs> Are you tired of my asking? No, no, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Oh, boy, thank you. Can you just come and fill my house? This is like a thing I'm working through. It was like I'm realizing yeah. that this is like a, a complex I have of like 
I'm not allowed to spend time or money on things that don't serve a really clear purpose. Right. Maybe that is the masculine part of me because that is a masculine kind of. Oh, it's very, I'm very practical like that. Yes. Like, but because of my artistic side pulls. The feminine you know, side the, is like, this is impractical, but it's beautiful and I like it and shut up. Exactly. <laughs> you know? I'm, yeah. I'm going to wear this apron every day. Yeah. Even if you look at the pictures that you posted, the things that I really appreciate when I'm on Instagram, yeah. when I walk into a room that's like this, of somebody else's, one, I'm appreciating how much effort it took to even find and put all this stuff up. Yeah. But also I'm appreciating like me, I, it makes me feel cozy. Like, yeah. It makes me feel like this is a true home. Yes. Um, as opposed to people that can just go to Pottery Barn and buy everything or walk into West Elm and go, I want this room to me at all. Like even if I had all the money in the world, then I would just be traveling to all the flea markets. Totally. You know? um, because I think that beauty doesn't have a purpose other than to mm. attract. Yeah. Right? So then that's why we like each other. That's why we like lots of things is it's more out of a, attraction than purpose. When I go to your house or also Kesley's house, I just feel really uplifted and inspired yeah. and cozy mm -hmm. because of what you were saying. It's like you took so much time to create some like a really special atmosphere. And it's for me ultimately. And it's for you. And so then I would, there are people that aren't comfortable with it, but then those aren't my people. Totally. You know? Gosh, this is beautiful. Mmm, is it good? Don't think cantaloupe. No. It's, it's kind of savory. savory. Yeah. I think it's um, hydrating. It's very lemony. Mm -hmm. Okay, go. No, wait, it's not straight. I think that's better. Okay, go. Oh, 